Hello, everybody. My name is Sandeep Arora. I'm presenting two year data from the TACT Pro trial using the transurethral ultrasound ablation device for whole gland treatment. Uh, MRI guided transurethral ultrasound ablation is a novel treatment which uses transurethral ultrasound transducer to completely ablate the prostate. It has 10 ultrasound transducers which direct the ultrasound into the prostate tissue, and we can control the energy deposition by drawing the contours. Uh, the USP of this device is it does not heat outside of the drawn contours. There's a, the TAC trial as 115 men were treated in 13 institutions in five countries. 67% of them had intermediate risk prostate cancer. A whole gland ablation was done using uh, sparing the urethra and the uh, urinary sphincter. Primary efficacy endpoints were PSA reduction of greater than 75%. And secondary endpoints included volume reduction, comma biopsy, MPMRI, and quality of life measures, including erectile measures and urinary measures were also calculated. Uh, this was the setup of the device. There is a, a transurethral ablation device, which has the transduce, ultrasound and emitting transducers, and there's an endorectal cooling device. And this uh, urethra is also actively cooled during the ablation. And um, uh, this is course planning. This is fine planning. And we contour the prostate. And this is the treatment device. We um, demarcate the prostate. And you can see that the heat is being deposited on these Tmax temperature maps. And uh, this device is going to complete one full circle, after which the whole prostate will be ablated. And the, you can see the endorectal cooling device uh, in the rectum. You can see that the contrast enhanced images after treatment that there is no ablation on the, there is no enhancing tissue in the uh, uh, targeted volume. So PSA and MRI outcomes. Um, so PSA primary endpoint was resolutely met. Uh, PSA reduction was achieved 96% of the patient. And you can see that the median IQR PSA at two years was 0 0.6, the range of 0 0.3 to 1.2. And prostate volume was significantly reduced. Uh, median reduction was 91% from 37 to 3 degrees Celsius. These images demonstrate decrease of volume uh, immediately post-procedure and at 12 months. Early oncological outcomes, uh, by two years, 7% of men underwent additional intervention. A repeat TELSA was not permitted by protocol. Histologic benefit was noted in nearly 80% of men on one-year biopsy with high sampling density. Approximately 79% of men were free of Gleason grade two disease um, at, two, uh, at one year. Uh, predictors of clinically significant disease at um, a 12 month biopsy were presence of intraprostatic calcifications. Uh, these calcifications um, do not permit ultrasound penetration to the capsule. Uh, um, suboptimal contouring and thermal coverage during treatment, and uh, suspicious MRI lesions at one year multiparametric MRI. Absence of MRI lesion had 96% negative predictive value for absence of Gleason grade 2 at one year. Uh, safety and quality of life there were no grade 4 adverse events, no intraoperative complications. There were 12 grade 3 severe events in nine men, which was all by one year, and uh, a few uh, moderate events were noted. There are no changes to urinary IPSS or bowel uh, symptoms from baseline to two years. There's no rectal injury. Uh, um, only 2.6% had moderate uh, in incontinence, um, which amounted to 1% increase in patients with daily leaks and 7% patients with a, a security pad every day. And erectile dysfunction, 83% of the men maintained erection sufficient for penetration at two years, which was really good for uh, whole gland ablation. To conclude, uh, this study um, was very effective for PSA and prostate volume reduction. It had very low morbidity and minimal impact on quality of life. Very significantly, 83% of patients maintained erection sufficient for penetration. It exceeded the primary efficacy endpoint. Um, really good PSA response at 12 months. The PSA vol prostate volume decreased to greater than 90% and histologic benefit was noted in nearly 80% of patients. That there was initial learning curve at the 13 sites and we could see that as the uh, patients progressed, uh, the number of patients progressed, 
the sites perform better, how it can improve with more experience. Uh, next steps include uh, ongoing studies for other therapies, including uh, partial gland ablation, post-radiotherapy salvage, and BPH treatment. And this device has received FDA clearance. Thank you for uh, this opportunity.